Hi there, I just thought I'd like to wish you all a very happy and prosperous new year for 2020. Uh, it's been quite a journey for me on this uh, this channel, so uh, just a quick heads up, not really going to talk about cars or Caymans, not going to feature anything, it's just going to be me kind of explaining a bit to you what's behind the channel Max Revs. Uh, I know a few of you have reached out to me, you've just taken delivery of your new uh, Caymans. When I say new, they used cars. I'm very happy for those people that basically discover joy and happiness through car ownership. Um, it's for a variety of reasons, it's not just the car is amazing um, I've got a couple of kids at home got a family man uh, there's no place in my house which I actually have complete control over I actually feel like being in my car I can control kind of who comes into the car the kids don't really come into it it's a two-seater they don't have their mucky feet all over it or crisp packets and so on so the Cayman is not just a great sports car it's also a way in which I can kind of get away from family life for a moment kind of find out a bit who I am um, I've actually met some great people through the channel. Uh, a number of the people I meet through the channel don't want to appear on camera, and that's fine. Um, Eddie is one that doesn't mind appearing on camera, so you see quite a lot of him. Um, and it's just a really great community that I've kind of um, got to know through this actual channel. So if you're thinking about getting a camera, just do it, you know, do it. I mean, I remember thinking, damn, this is a lot of money, £26,000 spend on my Cayman. Um, actually, over the three years that I've probably had the car now, I think it was the best thing I ever did. It's not just the car ownership, it's the stories that go with it, the pleasure it brings, and it's, it's a way for me to get out of the house. So um, most of the videos that I do tend to focus on a topic. Uh, there's no real topic here other than have a fantastic new year, hoping to meet up with a few of you guys in January. Uh, so GT4 meet, and whatever the year brings, good or bad, try to keep a positive spirit on things. Uh, you know, we've kind of found out from Tom, he had, he had his eyes set on a GTS, saw the car, it fell through, and the, all that kind of emotion that goes with looking for a car and then it falls through and you don't get the car. Life is an emotional roller coaster. I don't believe it stays up forever and it never stays down forever. And if, you, if you're down in life, just try to basically think about the good moments you've had and you can have good moments going forwards. If you're just gonna be a bit too downward looking and thinking, oh, you know what, my life's not gonna improve. Maybe it won't, you need to be positive positive up there um I'm having, I'm having a great time to be fair I know, I know a couple of years back before i got the cayman i had the kids and i was thinking damn is this all my life is now just go to work come home and just do the same old thing rinse and repeat forever um if you've got any things that you're sitting on any passions unleash the passions uh do what you're passionate about and uh, i just wish you all the best for 2020 um i'm not going to put any tags on this video because it's not really car focused it's more just a message to any of you out there who subscribe um let me know what you think in the comments um kind of what made you get your cayman or if you're thinking about getting a cayman is it because it's just a sports car or do you relate with the whole kind of it's a place where it's yours it's not part of the family home and you can just go out and be alone and just explore the roads so i'm in the middle of central london it's empty around here uh, this is kind of how i like it um central london's pretty busy at the moment but um i found a nice quiet spot here um and there's nothing better than enjoying uh, your car with mates who also are into their cars and thank you for the um the recent 718 gt4 owner and the 981 gt4 owner the two black cars the, the video about the exhaust comparison was just burning up the net i mean it's probably the most views i've ever got on this channel in such a short space of time i think it's about eleven thousand clicks normally the stuff on this content this is it's a hobby this is a hobby channel this is not top gear this is not motor trend this is not car faction i'm just one bloke with a 987 gen 2 that puts videos up now and again and i just love the fact that you know even if like 100 people watch it it's not all about the numbers you know there's stuff in the newspapers like oh people want to go on youtube to earn loads of money and they don't it's not about the money okay like it's about reaching a community that you can engage with um to be fair i'll tell you i'll probably make about a dollar a day on um, youtube based on click revenue so let's let's just round it up for argument say hundred dollars a year i spend way more than that on cameras software licenses um it's not the point people don't do youtube to make money i think there's the media always think that that's all people care about um maybe maybe the younger kids but you know it's about connecting with an audience and i find who better to connect to than with guys who are passionate about their cars and their caymans so um enjoying life and cars to the max my phone says this is a five minute video um i don't know if this stuff's actually right for this channel i don't know if you guys actually want to hear what i'm thinking um, i'd love to get a gt4 someone at works told me that the build run is going to continue up until 2021 and porsche have said anybody that wants a gt4 will get one 
I am testing my uh, Porsche dealership again because I, I was told over a year ago there's no way that I would get a GT4 allocation because I wasn't a regular Porsche customer. I've just sent them an email to say, is there any chance I would get a GT4 if I put my name down um, and I'm willing to wait until the end of the build cycle? Um, if they come back and say yes, well, I'll bet start getting the financing sorted out. The wife doesn't know about that yet, so hopefully the wife doesn't watch this, but she doesn't really watch my YouTube videos, so I think I should be safe there. Right, enjoying life and cars for the best. Wish you a happy 2020, and yeah, thumbs up, and leave us any comments down below if you want, and yeah, see you later.